Hey guys, my name is Haley, and today I am hopefully going to be filming my Tome Topple TBR for the upcoming Tome Topple Readathon. And as you might have noticed, I'm in front of my bookshelves, which has never happened, and it was a pain in the butt to get everything over there because you are currently stacked on a dresser and a ton of books. So we'll see if this actually happens every single time that I film a video. <laughs> The reason for the move is, number one, I've always wanted to film in front of my bookshelves, but they're really in- there's nowhere in the middle of my room to put things, so I'm currently using a dresser. And number two, I got rid of the desk that I usually film in front of, so I had nowhere in mind to film after I got rid of it because I got a new bookshelf, which I will show you. The top of it is currently a mess, so ignore that, but this is my new bookshelf that I got from Target, actually. And yes, I do film on my phone, so I apologize if the quality is not that great and the lighting is really gross today because it's like raining outside and it's just a mess. But today I am here to film my TBR for Tome Topple. This is round three of the Tome Topple readathon. I've participated in every round that we've had of it and honestly it's my favorite readathon. But I also discovered that there aren't a ton of books on my shelves that are over 500 pages that I haven't read because I've done Tome Topple twice now and I got a lot of those series out of the way. My TBR of books that would count for this readathon was a little bit smaller this time around. Honestly, probably could have opened the blinds and see if that helped with the lighting. But it's too late now and I've already fil tried to film this like three times and I'm not doing it again. <laughs> there are five challenges like always for this time around as the- oh, I can't talk. <laughs> I'm so like out of my normal filming mode because I'm in a completely different place and it was a lot of stress to get it here, so. <laughs> the Tome Topple will be taking place from April 7th through the 20th, which is, it's a two week long readathon because we're reading 500 plus page books as opposed to any other readathon, which is usually meant for shorter books to get through more books in a short period of time of about a week. Sam from Thoughts on Tomes is the creator of this readathon and she helps host it along with a couple of other booktubers. I think Sarah Jane is the one from The Book Life and then Kaz from Little Book Owl or two of them. I can't remember who the other ones are. I'm not sure if they're booktubers or just like Instagram and Twitter people for Twitter sprints, but anybody I can find that's involved in Tome Topple I will leave down below. So the first challenge is to read more than one tome, which I'm hoping to do. When you see my main focus, you'll see why I'm mildly nervous about that. Challenge number two is to read a graphic novel over 500 pages, and I don't own a single graphic novel that's over like a hundred or so pages. And the only one, I think, which was what I read for the last Tome Topple was Blankets and I didn't like it. So I might not be participating in this because I was going to read Orange, which is a manga, but that's not even 500 pages. It's like maybe 400. And then I don't own any graphic novel bind-ups, which does count for this challenge of graphic novels because it's really hard to find 500 plus page graphic novels. So from the sounds of it, there's nothing I can get my hands on before next Friday, so I'm probably not gonna be doing this challenge. Challenge number three is to read a tome that's part of a series. All three of the tomes that I have picked out are part of a series, so I'll be good on that one. Challenge number four is to buddy read a tome, which if any of you are reading any of these three books, if you want to let me know, we can buddy read it via Twitter, which is how I do most of my buddy reads, just in the Twitter DM. So just comment down below if you would like to buddy read any of these. And challenge number five is to read an adult novel, and my main focus book is an adult novel. So let me show you what I have picked out. My main focus for this round of Tome Topple is going to be The Wise Man's Fear by Patrick Rothfuss. And if you've ever seen this book in person or in on booktube or anywhere, this book is enormous. With no exaggeration, it is a thousand pages long. I will prove it to you. The last page is literally 999 and then the epilogue is a thousand. So... Yeah. It weighs a couple of pounds. It's really hard to carry around <laughs> and that is the main reason that I haven't read it. I read Name of the Wind for the last Tome Topple and I really enjoyed it. It ended up being like my favorite book of the entire year. 
but this one is just for some reason so much more intimidating probably just because it's huge and also because the third book still has no release date so concerned but this is going to be my name focus it is an adult novel and it is part of a series so it will count for those two challenges and if anybody else has already read Name of the Wind and needs to read Wise Man's Fear still and is in part and is participating in this read-along read-along read-a-thon let me know because I'm gonna need all the motivation <laughs> to read this sucker the second book that I have picked out is The Diviners by Libba Bray which is significantly lighter <laughs> and this book is almost 600 pages I've had it on my shelves for probably a year and a half two years I got it in the bargain section for like four dollars at Books A Million one time and I've just never read it. But I have heard fantastic things. I know it's set in the 20s and I know it has a bunch of paranormal elements. I've also heard really good things about the audiobook which I probably won't be reading this time around just because I struggle with audiobooks. But I am very excited to finally read this and then I hope to pick up the sequel sometime this year as well if I do end up reading it. And then the final book on my TBR that could count for Tome Topple, meaning it is 500 plus pages, is Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare. This book is huge. I've been reading a ton of Shadowhunter things lately with the Cassandra Clare read-along that's going on. And I just recently read Shadowhunter Academy like a couple months ago. And Shadowhunter Academy has me very scared for this book, so I feel like it's going to be very angsty. I don't really know what to expect other than that. I have heard amazing things. I have heard a lot of people say this is their favorite Cassandra Clare book, which surprises me because I know a lot of people's is Clockwork Princess and I love the Infernal Devices, so I'll be very impressed if this actually beats those out. But this is also the first book in a series. I think this is 650 something pages and I love the cover. I am in full-on Shadowhunter mode because I've been reading all of her books lately, so I think I am about ready to read this one. And its sequel comes out next month, so it's about time. So there is my TBR for Tome Topple Round 3. If any of you are reading any of these three books for the Tome Topple Readathon and would like to buddy read them, please comment down below and we'll connect through Twitter. Thank you all for watching and I'll see all of you guys next time. <laughs> I'm literally out of breath from holding up Wise Man's Fear. It's so heavy, you don't understand. Also, I really hope you guys like this setup because it took so much effort for me to get all of this stuff over here. <laughs>